Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you. We get the chaser, chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Bottom of the deck. Talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, Ubering. Let's also pull from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck, guys. Message in a bottle. Well, talk about uh, talking Oracle card. Bottom of the deck, by the book, which can be a mindset, an attention to the details. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies and we are ready so your energies guys the sun temperance major arcana the fool your person's energies, King of Swords, Seven of Cups, Death Card, Meeting Energies, The Ward, Four of Wands, Seven of Wands, The Focus, Five of Wands, Bottom of the deck we have the Five of Swords, which is an ego-driven energy for me. Um, clouded interactions, I usually describe this energy as one that is about uh, dealing dealing with someone that wants to have the last word only for the pleasure to do so when in reality it doesn't really matter and at some point the people surrounding the man with all the swords can decide that the wisest uh, choice to make is to remove from the situation this is a factor that can play a role within a cycle this can be a pattern that can be fueled by ego the chaser guys can be about a desire to achieve something but it takes two to tango and this seems to be a flow of energies that can see some of you willing to embrace a leap of faith when it comes to a brand new chapter of the journey. We have the word and the fool within the flow. The four of ones can be an energy that resonates with the engagement ring. So commitment, uh, building on solid foundations, um, long-term projects. And the talking is an energy of communication that is necessary in order to find an agreement with a partner. The partner may be a little bit reluctant when it comes to uh, topics that are about a marriage, for example, um, long-term commitment. This situation needs to be resolved because we have rough waters behind the man in the Two of Pentacles and the cycle needs to be broken. There is a touch of confusion because the focus is on the five of wands, I do not feel that this is a matter of competition. Um, this is a noisy and annoying energy of communication for me, because if there is confusion, we cannot think things straight. We cannot uh, do things by the book. You can be patient. Maybe you have been patient with your special person. The connection makes you happy because you have recognized that within the connection you can pursue uh, further happiness and this person may have doubts seven of cups uh, questions what if um, 
they may have to say multiple things they are able to do that because the king of swords is a precise energy of communication um, this person can be extremely smart the risk is the one that can be about not being able to realize that sometimes the desire to prove a point is um, is not useful and there is a revolution that needs to happen the world can be about a stage of the connection but this resistance needs to be overcome otherwise this is an obstacle this can be about stubbornness so let's find out a little bit more guys let's see because it seems um, it seems a situation between two partners that may talk about commitment, marriage, uh, long-term goals, and one cannot wait to embrace the uh, next stage, and the other one may be a little bit more reluctant. Let's see for you. Sun, Major Arcana, Page of Swords. This is another energy of communication. Uh, simple, yes, but still deserving of attention, as I usually say about the pages. Um, the sun is about growth, everything clear, everything out in the light, out in the sun, and there is openness. So, considering the fact that this can be an energy about someone that is trying to gather knowledge, some of you may be open to uh, talk as much as you can with your person about uh, future goals. The temperance is all in favor of the ability to compromise, to look for common grounds, to meet other people halfway, especially um, a partner. But again, it takes two to tango, it needs to be a two-way street. Let's see the temperance, this one. Queen of Wands. This is about a healthy self-confidence in favor of you guys. It can resonate with the sun because the sun for me is an energy about the self. Um, the queen of wands is intuitively guided. She can catch a lot of attention, but she is also able to recognize the best possible course of action in order to be successful. There can be also passion within the connection. Absolutely fair to say that. But this can be your desire even to uh, find solutions with a partner. Let's see the full. There is also the sun top corner in the full major arcana. Leap of fate, new stage of the journey, brand new adventure even. Three of wands. This is a matter of expectations, aspirations, the opportunity to fulfill desires. There is a waiting involved, guys. Uh, makes the point considering the uh, Two of Pentacles, a juggling act. This man has set his intentions in a very clear way and he has thrown them out into the universe, counting on the fact that the universe will deliver on his wishes and he is waiting for the sun to come up. That's why I was saying that the connection for some of you is sincerely special. It is a further source of happiness and some of you may truly have the desire to get married, for example, to um, move in together um, if you are not living together already, uh, something along those lines. Let's see for your person, King of Swords, Ace of Swords. So this person can be extremely um, straightforward. They are precise. So even if they have doubts, uh, they can explain these doubts. The point is, can they achieve more clarity in order to realize that there is potential in favor of the connection, even if um, the connection moves to a higher level? Let's see the Seven of Cups. The Ace of Swords is perfect to cut through the veil of confusion that can be about the Seven of Cups. Maybe it is also an energy that we can associate to uh, practicalities of the everyday life. We have the Ten of Cups, so they have, they have to overcome 
some type of indecision when it comes to long term. It can be a, a little bit of fear of commitment, to be honest. But for me, the Ten of Cups is always an energy that should be an encouragement because we know that life is not just about rainbows and unicorns and the opportunity to rely on a partnership that can vibe in a Ten of Cups way can be an encouragement in order to power through the challenges of the journey. Let's see the death card. The death card seems to be an inner process in this case, this one. Queen of Pentacles, they, they need to uh, bring more nurturing and caring energies in favor of the connection. This can also be uh, an energy that can resonate with some of you guys because you are willing to take care of the partnership and they can kind of mirror some of you guys. The revolution starts from within. The Queen of Pentacles has mastered the self-lovability and the Death Guard is an energy that I personally love because it's an opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past so that we can live an open field on an energy level and we can manifest new things. In this case, we need to release the Five of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. A Chariot, Major Arcana for the world. Coming full circle is not, is not about the connection. It is about the stage that was influenced by questions and doubts when it comes to the opportunity to get married, moving together, um, making plans for the future. The Chariot is all about success. And for me, it gets the feeling like wishing upon a star and allowing the star to guide the chariot to the place where it is supposed to be. There is hope also. Let's see the four of wands. Four of wands. So we are talking about um, a very important partnership. There is a lot of potential. Double four of wands. 11-11 card for a lot of readers. Um, this can be an engagement, a marriage, an opportunity to celebrate. There can be a little bit of fear, guys, a little bit of overwhelming emotions when it comes to the big step. One of you may try to convince the other person, but it is not about um, convincing uh, a partner. They need to realize that the opportunity is deserving. Um, we cannot force someone else to do something. I hope that uh, you can get my point. So let's see a little bit about the stubborn uh, seven of wands in this case, this one. Seven of Swords, uh, not about lies, betrayals and deceits. This can be self-sabotaging, self uh, guys. Fear of commitment and they resist. Um, the Emperor shows up, bottom of the smaller deck. This is about taking action uh, in a mature and responsible way, I would say. And so we need to exchange uh, clear words. We need to talk. We need to converse more and more in order to figure out uh, things together by the book, paying attention to every little detail and we need to lower the differences, uh, kinda releasing the Seven of Swords dish influence. Um, this can be um, a tiptoeing away from the topic. Shall we get married? Uh, let's not uh, talk about that. Something along those lines. So, guys, some more oracle cards for guidance, considering these energies. Remain positive, which is the chariot for me, and also the fool. Um, the connection is special, there is a lot of potential, this person may have inner fears even. They need to take a good look at um, these fears, they need to embrace a revolution with the death card, death and rebirth process, a shift in perspective. They can allow themselves and the connection to move towards uh, more bright opportunities, more bright scenarios, releasing the Five of Swords, for example. Don't stop. Again, the Chariot, the Fool. Uh, this can be the desire um, of some of you guys, the, the aspiration to move the connection to a higher level, because you have... You have um, got your clarity about the potential. It is genuine. This person seems to be a little bit more slow 
allow me to say, but they can get their clarity. The Ace of Swords can be the energy that can allow this person to understand that there can be something uh, extremely positive moving forward. Trust. Always, always a um, major key factor for me. When there is trust, love can grow, among other things. This is an inner pattern, the Seven of Swords dish, uh, Seven of One dish one, and it needs to be released uh, for the good of the connection and for the chance to achieve further happiness together. Otherwise, we are stuck in a pattern that is not healthy because it is a struggle that keeps going. The Ace of Swords can also break the cycle in the Two of Pentacles. So these guys should be an encouragement. There can be a conversation that can allow the two of you to figure things out together because you have all the potential to do so. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful. Let us know if you resonate, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you all the best, take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye!